And in coach, it was just like you drew it up in the meeting room. Tim, uh, a very uh, delightful win because uh, as we wind the season down, we wanted to have a good performance and at home. Our seniors won their last game at home, and it was nice to go out with a big victory and some big plays. Got a little nervous early. You scored first, and then Austin Peay came right back on you. It was 7-7, seven to seven, and I thought, here we go again. We're in for a dogfight. Well, they made a play early. They went on a fake punt, for example, and uh, as we uh, look at the highlights of the game, we, we came out on the field, uh, I think, uh, ready to play. Uh, we did get the touchdown early, and as you look at the offense here, uh, we started out uh, dropping back. This is McCoy throwing up top to, uh, I think the big catch there was the tight end. Rob Williams. Oh, uh, there's Rob Williams. He was the starter last night. He's the senior from Holland, Ohio. We wanted uh, to start all of our seniors and give them a chance, uh, as we said, to play their last game. Uh, offensively, our game plan uh, was to run at them a little bit, Tim, and see if we couldn't wear them down. Uh, while we're looking at a few passes in the highlights, this was a big catch by Steve Sanders, an individual effort for touchdown. I thought Donald Good had that ball intercepted. Great concentration by Steve after Good had it in his hands. Well, those are big plays, and as we have said all year long, when you, you make them, you look awfully good, and uh, this particular night was uh, all for us. Uh, one of the big things about our football win last night was our play of our special teams. Uh, Delano Kelly uh, coming downfield, uh, Terry Strong making big hits there in our kickoff coverage, and I was very pleased with our kicking game. Don't you think it's indicative of how fired up your team is, shown in the special teams many times? I really believe that. Uh, here's the fake punt. Uh, uh, Joe Heiss runs them down. Uh, they made a big first down, went on in to score here. But to answer your question, special teams, they're great momentum changers. When you make a big play on in the kicking game, it can change the momentum of the game. Mike Hollis, excuse me, Hollis Smith, 55 there, uh, makes a play, but you're going to see Hollis Smith making a lot of plays last night. He had a great game. There's a little slant pass to Rico Ransom, their flanker back, and that's the only touchdown that Austin P would get all night. As we look at the offense, this is Al McKinney who ran very hard last night. Al had another 100 yards rushing, uh, uh, has run uh, very hard the last two weeks. We've been pleased with that. And here it is. This is Scott Tackett uh, busting through the right side. Uh, big blocks there were by Pat Lavelle and Irv Owens cutting back. Even Daryl Huber had a block on the back side. I asked him on the radio postgame show last night if his speed surprised him. I said, I expected you to get caught from behind. He said, oh, no, no, he said, I'm a little heavier, but faster this year. Well, nothing Scott Tackett does surprises me, and uh, he has been uh, such a, a big play guy, and it was nice to see him go all the way. He went 65 yards, and at that time, that was the longest run since Reggie Taylor ran 67 for a touchdown in 1984. And the nice thing about it is that uh, later on in the game, uh, we get another big run, and big runs by the offense, big plays by the offense certainly enhanced the game, and uh, here McCoyne drops back and hits Joe Heiss. Now, the defender fell down on this play. However, the blitz was on. Uh, it was a good read and a good catch by Heiss. Okay, he was singled up there and catching cold in the end zone. Here's a uh, big defensive series now. Uh, I think that's Tom Zabotis that uh, goes in and makes the play. Our defensive line again played well last night from the line of scrimmage. As we're looking at the highlights here, Asbeck is in on the play. Chris has played so well every week. Uh, Andrew Stewart has played well, Tim, the last uh, uh, three, four weeks, and it's good to see him improving each week. That field goal by Austin P, 32 yards, that ended the scoring for the Governors from here on out. Everything you see going into the end zone is for the guys in the black shirts. This was a, a big first down. Steve Sanders made the catch here on an, on an in route. And uh, by running the football last night, it really helped our passing game. Uh, we were able to play action. Again, this is McCoy. Uh, Roosevelt Mutes really went up high for that catch and uh, uh, an exciting catch. I think McCoy goes back on a draw play. This is Tackett, makes a good move out, to, bounces out to the left side. And again, it was nice to see our linemen blocking up front on the draw plays and keeping us, uh, keeping the defense off balance. Watch Scott Tackett at the top of the screen, knocks his man down. Al McKinney almost literally walks him. 25 yards for the touchdown for Al. You had some long touchdown runs, long game breakers that you haven't had all year. Well, people like Owens and Hossfeld, uh, those guards, when they get on those linebackers and get around the corner, uh, there's a, a big uh, block by them. 
Uh, once again, Kelly is down. Uh, I think uh, Derek Walker was in on, on one of those. Uh, Bobby Jefferson, uh, three of those guys just mentioned a walk-on. And Terry Strong also in there. Uh, those are big, uh, big kicking plays, good field position. That last play, uh, Walter Johnson had a, a big sack from behind. 28 to 10, halftime lead, and up front, you're dominating Austin P. Well, we went into the game to give a good effort. I think we wanted to run to the football. I think defensively we did that. Offensively, we also ran the ball. So going into the halftime uh, was important to talk about coming out the second half and doing the same thing. Dan McCoy only had to throw it eight times in the first half, and he connected on seven of those eight. As you pointed out on the radio postgame show last night, Dave, he's most effective when he doesn't just simply have to throw, throw, throw. I think that's uh, very true. Uh, two touchdown passes, uh, throwing the ball eight times, uh, you can keep people off balance with that. And uh, when you can protect, it's good to throw and catch. There are still some more highlights coming up. We'll look at the second half highlights after you look at this. This is very much in UC's favor, 28 to 10. The ball game going well at that point. I suppose you tell them just more of the same, boys, onward. Well, it's important uh, that we do go back out. Defensively, we, they will get the ball the second half, and we wanted to stop them defensively the first series. Uh, our kickoff team needed good coverage, so as we, as we went into the second half, it was important to keep the same intensity. Is there some psychology involved, Dave, going into the second half where you want to show them, hey, the first half wasn't a fluke, and so you try to put them down early? We've been trying, Tim, uh, in all of our games, uh, especially the ones we've been successful in, of keeping the intensity the first and beginning of the third quarter. And when you go into a ball game, uh, you want to come out and let them know that you're ready to play. And uh, I think that certainly helps you set the tone for the second half. Look at this uh, play by Leshnick on the botched punt return. Darrell Huber makes the reception here. Bob Leshnick uh, caused the fumble, or at least uh, pushed the ball. And we come back on offense now, and the ball goes down to about the five-yard line with Leonard Cry. Uh, this is McCoy under the center. Again, the ball in the five. They jump offside, tack it running off tackle. We are now down to the one-yard line. The, the kicking game got us the ball down here. Uh, once again, parading plays, making turnovers, and McCoy gets the touchdown. I guess if you were to rate your three areas in the order in which they performed this year, the kicking game might be at the top of the list, Dave. There's no question in my mind the kicking game has been one of the highlights of this football team. Uh, they do make big plays. They do get good field position for us. And defensively, uh, we just made a big play there. Now we're back on offense with McKinney coming around the corner. Uh, this was a, a good block there again by, by Tackett and, and the guard pulling. McCoy's under the center again and drops back to pass. And as he looks upfield here, he gets a hookup uh, to Daryl Huber. Uh, that was an audible, by the way. And we went to, they had a blitz look, and he comes and dumps the ball to tight end. Here we are, Tim, on defense. And uh, once again, big plays coming up. This is a big sack. That's Bob Lesnick. Uh, batting the ball up and down, uh, making a big play for us, getting the ball back. And Tom Matthews in a hot pursuit as well. Well, and here's the longest run from scrimmage this year, and uh, it's done by a freshman from Princeton High School, and uh, uh, Dwayne Hunter gets a big touchdown, and he's surely excited about it. 71 yards for Hunter, the longest touchdown run from scrimmage since the first quarter. Well, I think what's important, as you mentioned, that uh, he and and both tack at the fullback and the halfback. Both got big runs, big plays. Uh, back on defense, uh, that's Hollis Smith. As I said earlier, Hollis has made some big plays. Uh, he's at the defensive end position. And by the way, Hollis Smith, uh, Tim, has played two or three positions on our football team. He's that's, an awfully good athlete, isn't he? Well, I think he's got a bright future. That's Corey Williams uh, back covering uh, on the secondary that play. Here's a punt, uh, another part of our team uh, Gary Overgall has kicked the ball extremely well the, the past three games. Look at this coverage. Stripped the ball. I think Bobby Jefferson or Delano Kelly stripped the ball. Uh, Kelly came down, got knocked the ball loose. We almost got it back, but uh, he and Leshnick and uh, Huber, again, uh, here's a, an interception. Lee Perkins makes an interception, and that's the first interception we've had in a long time. It's good to see. Sixth one of the season and fitting. He's a senior from Pascagoula, Mississippi. All of our seniors got a good chance to make uh, uh, some plays last night. And here as we see our offense, our defensive line, uh, once again dominating the line. Uh, that uh, was Stewart the last time. And right now, uh, 
as you look at the highlights, that we see uh, another sack and then a big win and a happy win. That last sack was shared by Phil Poyer and Walter Johnson. I thought in the ball game last night, you controlled it almost from the outset. You made, obviously, big plays. Tackett goes 65, and Al McKinney switches.